aka the crafty princess and doll collector and today this is a follow-up video that I'm filming with Sprite Beauty one of my uh, newest doll acquisitions she is a Neo Blythe doll and I am doing a follow-up video I had posted already an unboxing video of her uh, that was quite popular and I've had people kind of you know asking me a few questions about her if you have any questions feel free to put them in the comments and I will do my best to answer them so yeah, so what about this doll? Okay, here she is out of her stock. If you watch the other video, I had um, some footage of her near the end, um, some video footage as well as some uh, still photographs of her in her stock. And I will say uh, the stock I really liked a lot. I thought it was quite, um, quite well made. Um, one of the issues though with the stock is because uh, she has wings that attach to the back. The stand, like here's a regular Here's a regular uh, doll stand, right, that comes up to their to their waist. The doll stand that comes with this doll is not All like right, so this. so I'm back now. I didn't think to get the stand before. So here's the stand. You can see it's quite different. It's oh, quite a bit shorter. <laughs> um, yeah, it's a little bit not... Um, I get why they did this because if you had her in full stock and you used this type of a stand, you would squish her... Uh, wings and you would not want to do that because again if you watch the other video you, you see that they velcro to the back of her dress this would damage the wings and you don't want to damage the wings of sprite right this comes quite a bit lower so let me get her so you would have to put this around her legs um, in order for her to to use it and it, it works okay it takes it's a little bit because see now she falls back a little bit so it takes a little bit of adjusting, but yeah, once you get her on there, she works okay. But yeah, when I first saw the stand, I was like, what's going on with this? <laughs> but yeah, so your stand's going to be a little bit shorter. Oh, and it's a very pretty stand, by the way, nice, pretty pr light purple. So I do like that. I just, yeah, if you don't have her in the stock, it's a little weird. But anyway, so here she is. Like I said, out of her stock, she's wearing uh, a, just a simple little uh, cotton dress and uh, little um, stockings and Mary Jane shoes. Ooh, girl. Okay, so the dress, by the way, is one uh, from... Woo! <laughs> That's my cat back there. Am I in your way? She's going to knock that box over. Okay, so that's Lola back there. Of course, she has to photobomb pretty much almost every video I have. If you've seen any of my other videos, you've, you've seen Lola before. Um, all right, back to this girl. Okay, her dress is from the Etsy shop Mini, uh, Mini Gijo, and so are the stockings. I bought them in a set. And just FYI, shoes are from Cool Cat. Okay. <clears throat> all right, so what are my thoughts about this doll? I'm really happy with her. Um, of all of the handful, not even a handful, I've only, I've only had a couple of, I'm trying to think, what do I have? I have um, Country Summer, and I have um, uh, Ma Monique Magnifique, and let's see, and oh, I have uh, Winterish Allure. Those are my other three real Blythe dolls, okay, stock dolls that I have, and of all three of those, required um, a little bit of hair management. Um, actually, the M Monique did not really, um, I call her Ella. Uh, at first I was concerned, if you see the video of unboxing them, I'm kind of freaked out about her hair. And I'm just letting her hair go crazy like it's supposed to be. I think it's, her hair is very curly. Um, but this girl, I did not have any qualms about her hair at all. It is, um, you know, coming out of the box, it was practically perfect, a little teeny bit frizzy, but I just used a wide tooth comb and um, combed it out a little bit, and it's very nice. It's not greasy at all. Um, in fact, here I have uh, Country Summer, um, or a, no, Amber, aka Country Summer. Her hair was greasy. I actually had to wash it a couple of times. Okay, so, um, so anyway, considering that Blythe dolls are kind of well known for their hair issues, this girl has really nice hair. It's very thick pretty soft, you know, a tad, like it's a tad on the frizzy side, but generally speaking, it's pretty soft. Um, I've got it pulled over here just on the side, you know, to kind of give her a little bit of a do, 
but really you, you don't have to do anything a little a very light combing and you're she's pretty much good to go now the hair is layered as far as colors go you can see here it's a little bit better if I bring her back the underneath part is yellow and then pink on top and it's a pretty bright pink it is a it is a bubblegum pink it's a bubble yeah it seems a little it's coming off lighter on here but it's it is definitely a bubble bubblegum pink and a very yellow yellow you know a very like lemon I would say lemon yellow um, so yeah her hair is very distinctive as is is the rest of her uh, she's a translucent doll as far as skin tone goes and that's actually why I have Amber here to show you Amber is um, get them together here she's her skin tone is cream and she's translucent so if you can see them kind of there you go. I don't know if that's helpful at all. I've been I had been asking for the longest time. What's the difference between translucent and I don't understand what's translucent. Um, and it's I understand why people had a hard time explaining it to me because it is difficult to explain. It is sort of um, I will say it's to me it comes off shinier. So if you're an anti shiny person, like some people prefer the matte finish on a on a Blythe doll and will even customize them to make them matte probably translucent is not going to be your cup of tea because um, like I said I, to me it, it seems shinier and it's very you know like almost like you can see through it but you can't it's got that feeling of of you know translucence yeah I think that's a good that's a good description of it um, very pale very you know she's um, she's a sprite she's not of this world okay she's um, which is one of the reasons I'm kind of struggling with the name for her because She's, you know, I don't know. I'm thinking of like Lilu or I don't know. My husband didn't like Lilu. You know, obviously I ripped that off from um, the movie. Uh, but anyway, I don't know if you have any ideas. I'm kind of, I kind of, I don't even, I like Lucy too, but that doesn't seem, you know, ethereal enough for me. But if you have any name suggestions, I'm open to those. All right, so far as her other unique um, feature, uh, besides her very, different hair color because stock dolls don't usually come we've got lots of blondes lots of redheads in the stock doll world right you don't get a lot of a, a lot of colored doll hair in stock the stock doll world there are some but not a bunch and she's even two-toned so the other unique feature is her eyes she's got pink eyelashes <coughs> and she has sleepy eyes which again is something that a lot of people will customize later so she has two strings right two two tabs here two pull strings so if you're going to change your eyes you have to use them both you can't just use one to change her eyes because basically um, you pull one to close them and she has really pretty purple eyeshadow like lilac eyeshadow and then you pull the other one while they're closed to change the the eyes so that's her side facing green again gray Oop. Oop. It didn't change hmm could be operator error there these side facing pink ones they're actually more of like a lilac or again like a lavender I guess lilac -y lavender pinkish purplish they're unique to her as well and then of course the front facing blue go back to those See, see, this is a little problematic here. I guess I'm kind of like afraid to <laughs> break these off. So hopefully she's going to be okay. I don't usually change her eyes a ton, so. But yeah, so she's, um, I think she's a really cute doll. I haven't put her in a lot of other outfits. Um, I When I pulled out the dresses and stuff and started looking at things, I gravitated a lot to pinks and purples for her. So she might be something that would be a little, I don't know. I, I have a lot of pink in their little dolly wardrobe, so that shouldn't be an issue. But if you're a type of person that is not super into pink, she may not be a doll for you. Um, she's definitely got the pink thing going on. And I think mostly those type of colors, uh, pinks, purples, blues, are going to look good on her. We'll have to see. Um, maybe I'll try something different and just to see what does and doesn't look good with her. 
but I, I just, she comes off to me as a doll that maybe you're not going to be able to just put anything on her, you know. I mean, I have a few dolls, like I have a, um, Madison is one of my stock dolls, and I will also say Winter Chaleur, who's very similar looking to, uh, to my factory doll, Madison. Uh, those dolls, you can almost put anything on them, and they would look, they look really good. This doll, I think, is going to be a little bit more challenging as far as, you know, putting, putting an outfit together for her, but... If you're happy with the pinks and the blues, like I tend to be anyway, then she is fine. Um, I, in fact, I like purple a lot, too. I think she would look really good in purple. But yeah, that's me blathering on about <laughs> Sprite Beauty, and I hope you enjoyed the unboxing video, and now you can kind of see that her out of her stock, that even not wearing her, her stock, which is a beautiful um, collection, I really like the stock. I could see putting it on some of the other dolls just for fun sometimes. Um, but even out of her stock, she's a really cute doll. Very different. Again, not necessarily something for everyone that, you know, all Blythe doll collectors may not be interested in something so um, pinky and girly. But if you are interested, I would highly recommend this doll. She's super cute, and I'm glad I finally got a hold of her. Thank you for watching, and have a wonderful dolly day.